One of the other things I've heard the same minister, the sponsor of the bill, saying is, we don't think this is a violation of the fundamental freedoms, Section 2, under the Charter of Rights and Freedoms. You know, come on, that's just going too far. Really? Well, that's certainly what it says in my, uh, in my uh, Charter of Rights and Freedoms. Um, and, you know, because I'm just that kind of a gal, I'm walking around with one of them. There we go. Uh, so, fundamental freedom, section two. Everyone has, these by the way are easily picked up from uh, the nearby um, uh, Department of Justice for the federal government and any number of other places, everyone should have one. Uh, everyone has the following fundamental freedoms. Freedom of conscious, conscience and religion. Freedom of thought, belief, opinion and expression. Including freedom of the press and other media of communication God bless Twitter. Uh, and C, freedom of peaceful assembly. That would be civil disobedience. Oh, I said that out loud. Oops. But you're guaranteed it in the Charter. Uh, and, it, and that's why. Because sometimes governments, for all their best reasons, do things that are too much, too far, too um, restrictive too penalizing, uh, and that's what this government has done, and they are getting pushback. They're getting pushback not only from people that are in organized labor t now, and not only in the particular union that they are seeking uh, to eviscerate uh, with Bill 45, but it's flowing over into other unions, and I have been attending the rallies, and it's not just AUP that's there. It's getting bigger and bigger every time with more and more representation, uh, and I am very pleased to see that. But, you know, they're not stupid people. They understand that what is going to be brought down, the hammer that's going to be brought down on one group, is then going to be used to bash everybody else in the head all the way down the line until it reaches just worker workers uh, that are not, don't have even the benefit of uh, collective bargaining and uh, uh, an organized labor movement behind them. And people are pushing back.